How do I edit the listing page for my premium press team? Well, let me show you what I'm referring to. In front of me, we have one of our premium WordPress themes. This is the online dating theme. However, this video can be used for all of the premium press themes. The setup process is exactly the same. So let me show you what the actual listing page is, as well as the ad page in this case is. I'm clicking on a user's profile, and this is what we call the add or listing page. So this is the user's profile page. How do I edit this in Elementor? So the first thing I do is log into the admin area. I click on dashboard, I click on premium press, and all of the main pages within premium press are located in what we call a site manager. It just gives you one place for you to easily find all of the pages. So from this page, I can see site manager buttons here or at the top here, I can click on here. Both will take you to the same page. Now, again, this is the site manager. As you can see, we have all of the pages that you can customize and edit within Elementor and obviously some of the additional options to help you change logo, um, colors, etc. Now, obviously, what we can see at the top here is this big button that says Elementor not installed. So obviously, if we're going to be editing an element in Elementor, we need to install Elementor. So first thing we do is go ahead and install Elementor. Now, the great thing about Premium Press Themes is that we do not require or need the Pro version. You can use the free version for all of the Premium Press Themes. So just go ahead and click Install Elementor and go ahead and install that. Now, I already have um, Elementor installed, so I'm just going to show you how to activate if you do. Just click on Plugins, scroll down, and then where it says Elementor, just click on Activate. Okay, painless, very easy. All right, so let's go, uh, go back, go Premium Press. I'm just going to click on Site Manager here this time. Okay, and you'll notice straight away that the error message or the, the information message at the top has vanished. So let's locate the profile page. And as you can see, the second option down here, it's a profile page. This is the page. Now, again, you can verify that we're looking at the right page by clicking on view, and it's going to take me to a sample page. So you can say this is a sample user. And okay, so this is the page I want to edit. We have options to edit, which I'll click in a minute. We have an option to set a custom template, which I'll show you in a moment, and additional options here if you want to turn on and off some of the additional options for the page. So you can see we have some more options here. So go ahead and play with those and get familiar with the theme, etc. So the question again is how do I customize the main page? So the first thing I'm going to do is click on edit, and it's going to load this into Elementor. So if I click on edit, okay. This page here is now going to loading all of the blocks and design tools you need to edit the page and then redirect you, as you can see here now, into Elementor to help you go ahead and do that. Now, before I show you some of the options here, let me just take you back a step. If you've clicked on this edit button, okay, and for some reason you have an error message like the one in front of me now, okay, how do we resolve this is very quick. Basically, what it means is your hosting provider is unable to install this template here. So you need to do it manual and it's very, very quick and very easy. Okay, let's go back to where it says download now, click on the download button, save the file that is asked you to save to your desktop. Okay, we go back to the admin area. Okay, undo Elementor, we have Elementor and Elementor templates. Click on the templates one, click on import templates and then select the file you've just downloaded from your desktop. Okay, once you've imported it, you'll see it's now available at the top here. So as you can see at the top here, we'll have a new one with the file we've added. And then we go back to the site manager. So again, premium press. Okay, site manager. And rather, you'll see this option here called um, this little icon, it'll be yellow or it'll be um, any color you want it. You can just click on it and then select the new template that you've just imported into Elementor. And all you're doing is really, the system will automatically create this for you when you click on edit. But if your hosting provider is unable to do it for you, then you'll need to do this manual. And it's simply by sitting, collecting this icon and then selecting the file from this section. Okay, so that was a little bit rushed, but it is that very, very simple. Import it and then reselect it. That's all you're doing. Okay, so let's go back to the Yoshua page itself. This is the page that you'll see once you've um, loaded it into Elementor. Now, obviously, depending on the theme you're using, some of the design elements here might change, some of the blocks may be slightly different, but the concept is the same. And if we start with, for example, the gallery, I click it once on the left-hand side, we have additional options. I can scroll through and change it to, say, for example, tall images, a carousel gallery, a, gr gal a main grid gallery, etc., etc. Okay, if I wanted to remove it, I can just click it and click delete, and obviously I can use the keyboard shortcuts to bring it back if I decided not to. Okay, again, I can turn off elements I want. For example, if I didn't want this hit and miss section, I can just delete it. Okay, I can save and update. And if I open a new tab just to preview my website, okay, click on preview. Okay, so this would be the same page again, but you can see the hit and miss options have now changed to the top. 
Again, I can load it in another window. I can change this to a different gallery. Let's change it to the tall gallery. So it's more obvious that changes have been made. Okay, again, go back to my page and give it a refresh. Okay, and as you can see now, obviously the page has changed. Now what's happening in the background, if I show you in the, um, the um, page editor here, is that initially, if I click on this icon here, we're using what we call the default template, and that'll be the default option. When you click on edit and it loads it into Elementor, it automatically assigns the new page into this list here. So as you can see now, it's automatically set this option. If, for example, you decide you don't like the changes you've made or you want to revert back to the default theme, simply click on the uh, desktop icon here and then select the default template. I click Save Changes. Okay, you can see the icon is now normal. It's not yellow anymore. If I give the page a refresh, okay, now we're loading in the default options. And again, if I wanted to start again and uh, edit this page, I can just click on Edit and again, it's going to load the same page back into Elementor and then give me the options to go ahead and customize it. Now, obviously, in this video tutorial, I cannot show you how to customize everything in Elementor. That is a, um, a task for yourself to learn how to use Elementor. I can show you some of the options. For example, this is a blocks. OK, this is one of the blocks we have. If you click on the left hand side, we've got some of the options. If you scroll down in Elementor, if you scroll down to the bottom. OK, we have lots of Elementor blocks here. And obviously, the main page blocks are these ones, what we call single and then hyphen and whatever it is. So you can see it says add page. These are the blocks that are used to create this page here. Now, if I click on a block, for example, this one, this is the description block. We have a different additional option called styled. So you can see if I unstyle it, so I can turn on style. This is what the styled version looks like. And unstyled means you obviously have the raw data to customize and uh, move it around any way you like. So for example, I might create my own design and just drag and drop this section into it. And it's the same with all of the blocks. I just click on the block. I can choose the layout content, content that I want and I can choose the styled or unstyled option. And it just gives me more freedom to customize this page any way I like. Now things like the um, blocks and um, the, uh, the columns here, we can click on the column options. And obviously these are all native Elementor options. So it's down to you to obviously customize and make these responsive because obviously we cannot do that. It's all designed down to the, the way you design the page. The great thing about page tool editors are that you can customize it. So we obviously we can't set it for you, otherwise you wouldn't be able to customize it. So again, these are all the options of the page. You can go ahead and obviously drop elements you don't want, click delete. And then if I wanted to bring this section back, for example, a description here, I would scroll down, find the actual block. So we go to single. Okay, so this is a single block. I drag it in. Okay, and then I can see on the left hand side to choose my block options and then select the block option. In this case, it was a description. OK, so it's going to bring the description back. If it was, say, for example, the title, OK, it'd be a title, uh, features, etc., etc. So use the options that are available here to use some of the existing content and then obviously add in anything else you want using Elementor. And there we go, a very quick video tutorial on how to customize your main listing page. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, a like, and I'll continue creating content just like this one. Thank you. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.